Well, it seems that 2020 may not be the year that a lot of Xbox gamers anticipate, as it's possible that Halo Infinite can be delayed as per Xbox. Let's get into it. What's up, peoples? What's up, peoples? What's up, peoples? It is your boy, MM2K, back again with another video. Do me a huge favor. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Rock those bells for notifications, please, so you know when your boy is dropping these episodes of The Medicine. I appreciate all of y'all straight up. Y'all know the deal. Y'all know the reason why I am not too proud to ask. Let's get into it. All right, y'all. So, something caught my eye this morning that I wanted to share with y'all and discuss. Um, it was in particular this tweet that came from GameSpot and it says Microsoft has released a statement on the impact of coronavirus will have on upcoming exclusive games. Um, and when you click on the link to the article, it reads as follows. Xbox released a statement on COVID-19's impact on exclusive game development. Xbox boss Matt Booty says each studio is facing unique challenges and restraints. The story reads as follows. Microsoft has released a statement let me let me increase this for those of you that are watching this video. Microsoft has released a statement regarding the impact of COVID-19 on its upcoming Xbox, uh, exclusive Xbox and PC games. In short, no projects have been officially delayed, but Microsoft has acknowledged that its teams are facing unique challenges and constraints as they shift to work from home setup. 2020 is a crucial year for Microsoft and the Xbox brand as the Xbox Series X is lined up to release this holiday with Halo Infinite as a launch title. Microsoft remains committed to launching with Xbox Series X this year. The company doubled down on that earlier in March, but what co um, impact COVID-19 has on development of games such as Halo, Grounded, and Everwild, among others, remains to be seen. And if we scroll further down, we have an official statement from Matt Booty on COVID-19 impact on Xbox games. He says, we know that gaming connects people during times of social distancing, and we are committed to delivering the highest quality Xbox Game Studios games for our global community of players. At the same time, the health and safety of our Xbox Game Studio development team is our top priority. Each studio is facing unique challenges and constraints depending on its particular location, and many of our external development partners around the world are similar, similarly affected. We are supporting our studio leaders to make the right decisions for their teams in their individual games during this challenging time. All right, so here's the deal. It's not official. Nothing has been said, but it's something to keep an eye on. And I've hinted earlier, you know, looking at reports from certain business analysts and things of that nature, they even believe that consoles could be delayed. So I'm not trying to get political here. I know politicians are saying we can go back to work tomorrow. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? For the sake of the economy, because they want to see these things coming. But if things are shipped too soon and an outbreak spreads even further, then it's going to be even worse than what we're experiencing right now. So I will put a placeholder or anything. Anything is possible. With that being said, let's just play. Let, let, let's play this scenario down. If Halo Infinite is delayed, and let's just say the Xbox console is still shipped and released on schedule, all right, this holiday 2020. That is gonna create a big vacuum for Xbox this, this year. I get it. A lot of people are impressed with the specs of the Xbox. PlayStation fell fat, flat in their initial presentation of their specs. I covered that in my last video, but we gotta always come down the middle on this channel. Um, Sony with 9.2 teraflops in her hand, they're still gonna be able to do some, some great and some astounding visual things. Just maybe not in the realm of multiplex that Xbox is gonna be able to do, but they still got their exclusives. So if Sony is able to create a lot of exclusives that garner the attention of the uh, regular public that already feels like that they got better games, whether you and I believe it or not, that's their perception, right? And if they can, sh can show that in the big staple of the Xbox Series X in that same regard, Halo Infinite isn't available, that's going to be a blow. And you have people that are serious enthusiasts of the Xbox Series X. They're speaking highly of the Xbox Series X, even over the PlayStation 5, who have critiqued situations such as this and said, hey, Halo Infinite is a must for Xbox. It's the biggest game 
for Xbox in its history. And I tend to agree with that. So if Xbox cannot produce Halo Infinite, there's nothing they can do about it. This is a pandemic out of their control. Then they, I think what they need to do in order to fill in that void is to just garner us with games and games and games. And I'm gonna explain why I've done enough babbling. I'm gonna explain why I feel that way in, in a subsequent video. So stay tuned for that. But again, I think they can fill up that void of anticipation if they they talk a lot about games coming down the pike. I don't care how far they are out. Just talk about those games to help maintain that anticipation because Sony's about to drop a lot of games now that they're going to put in people's hands right now. And, you know, it's going to create a buzz. So, you know, it's very interesting to see. But that's just my take on the matter. Who cares what I think? Let me know what you think about all this. If Halo Infinite doesn't come, well, first and foremost, do you think, how big of a possibility did you do you think it's gonna be delayed? And also, if it is delayed, how big of an impact is it gonna have on the Xbox Series X launch? Let us know in the comment section below. And with that said, thank you, that's it from your boy. As always, if you like the material, click the links below to follow me. Those links will lead you to the Broadband Bullies, PNTS Network, Hard Knock Digital Culture, and yes, the Stadia Dosage. And with that being said, you all, have a wonderful, wonderful gaming day. Peace.